Rocket Girl's Journey to the West, Chapter 21, An Apology. Rocket Girl! Wukong said, pulling out his iron bar. The crowd broke apart as people ran away. Wukong leaped and Roxy got ready to fight. Ouch! Wukong suddenly fell and rolled around, holding his head tightly and crying. Roxy noticed the Tang monk speaking softly. What's going on? She thought. Master, please stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wukong cried. The Tang monk stopped speaking, and Wukong took a deep breath and stood up. Slowly, he approached the Tang monk. The Tang monk folded his arms. You should be ashamed of yourself. Wukong stared at the ground. Baje giggled. <laughs> Do the tight headband spell again, Master. Wukong deserves it. The Tang monk glared at Baje. You should be ashamed too, Baje. You can't just take over a city like this. It's wrong. You two are truly awful sometimes, Wu Jing said. I agree, Roxy said. I'm sorry, Master, but sometimes it's hard to be good, Wu Kong said. You must learn to control yourself, the Tang monk said. Mayor Bloom approached the monk and Wu Kong, looking nervous. Are you in charge here? The Tang monk asked. The mayor <sighs> nodded. The Tang monk bowed. I apologize for the trouble my companions caused, and I hope you will forgive them. Sorry. Wu Kong and Baje mumbled. Mayor Bloom cleared his throat. <clears throat> I accept your apology. Wu Kong turned to the Tang monk. I'll be right back, Master. Wu Kong hurried to police headquarters. All the police officers were behind bars. Release the prisoners, he demanded. A chimpanzee guard unlocked the jail cells and the officers stepped out. Detective Smith gave Wu Kong a suspicious look. What's going on, Wu Kong? I'm not king anymore, so Mayor Bloom can go back to ruling this kingdom, Wu Kong said. Detective Smith frowned. It's not a kingdom. Back at City Hall, Wu Kong opened the portal. Return to the Fruit and Flower Mountain, he told his army. Roxy was talking to the Tang monk, Ba Zhe, and Wu Jing. Terrell, Mara, and Jack hurried over. Rocket Girl, Terrell said. It's great to see you. You saved Metro City again, Mara said. Roxy laughed. <laughs> Actually, the Tang monk saved the city. It's nice to meet you all, the Tang monk said. He called to Wu Kong. We must continue our journey now. Rumble. Someone's stomach growled. The Tang monk groaned. Ugh. Ba Zhe, do you ever stop thinking about food? Ba Zhe snorted. Huh? It wasn't me! Of course it was you, Wu Kong said. Wu Jing nodded. You're always hungry, Baje. Baje held up his hands. But, but. It was actually me, Mara said. I'm hungry. Baje snorted again. <laughs> I told you it wasn't me. I am hungry, though. Everyone laughed. <laughs> Let's have a picnic in the park, Jack said. Afterward, you can continue your journey. The Tang monk smiled. That sounds nice. After buying sandwiches at a deli, everyone headed into Metro City Park. As they sat down, dark clouds rolled overhead. Boom! Boom! Lightning lit up the sky. Raindrops began to fall. Terrell's shoulders slumped. Now we can't have a picnic. A storm is coming. That 
It's not a storm. Wukong pulled out his iron bar. It's an army of demons! 